as part of our, the changes coming through our Navy's personnel systems modernization under the Sailor 2025 initiative, we are improving our enlisted advancement final multiple score, FMS calculation. One of the outdated factors in calculating the performance mark average or PMA score is that previously a one of one EP sailor was receiving the same PMA score as a top performing sailor who was ranked one out of 40, for example. This change is significant because it better reflects the true merit of a sailor's performance. The purpose of this video is to highlight the importance to all sailors and to our e education service officers how to better calculate the, PM, the new PMA score by adding the reporting senior's cumulative average into the calculation and how it affects a sailor's final multiple score. Now, while the plan is for us to automate this process in the fall 2019 exam cycle, it is still very important for all ESOs to know how to calculate this manually as it will provide an extra layer of quality assurance as we move forward. And to help us today, Chief Cuevas will walk us through a step-by-step -step demonstration. I would like to take this opportunity to demonstrate the new Reporting Senior Cumulative Average Calculator that goes with the release of the Advancement Policy Updates, NAVADMIN 312 TAC 18. Let's get it started. Here we confirm the Unit CEO's Reporting Senior's Cumulative Average or RISCA before we start using the calculators. If the RISCA Tracker Spreadsheet has enabled content displayed at the top, it must first be selected prior to use. Sir, could you verify your RISCA for us? No problem. First, log into BOL, click on CCA slash FITREP slash eval reports, then reporting seniors cumulative average report, and there you go. You can see my RISCA average for each pay grade to use in the new RISCA PMA calculator. For this example, Click the button for E6. From the bottom of the page, copy the total trait count number and the total trait sum number to the RISCA tracker sheet gray area. The starting RISCA should automatically be displayed. Please verify with a number from BOL, 3.67 for this example. After you've entered all evaluation ITAs of the summary group, click Compute RISCA button. For this example, the post summary group RISCA is 3.68. Use this number later in the RISCA PMA calculation. The new RISCA tracker and calculator can be found on the MPC website. For this case, we have a total of four evaluations for PS1 Smith. I have entered all the numbers in the yellow areas. After I click the RISCA calculation button, you can see PS1 Smith's RISCA performance mark average of 4.15. In the event that a sailor has evaluations from different reporting seniors, the RISCA can be pulled up by the sailor by visiting BOL and pulling his or her performance summary report. Before you save, ensure you have created an evaluation folder, which will automatically save with a timestamp file name. Now we have the new RISCA PMA for PS1 Smith as 4.15, which will go on his enlisted advancement worksheet. For the September 2019 exam cycle, we hope to have the enlisted advancement worksheet online and calculating RISCA PMA automatically within INCEPS. But it is still paramount for ESOs and each sailor to understand how the RISCA PMA is being calculated, how RISCA affects each sailor's evaluation and the new rules for advancement. Continue to study hard for the next exam and have a fine Navy day.